Hi, my name is Dr. Mark Witcher, and I'm a neurosurgeon with Carilion Clinic Neurosurgery. I specialize in deep brain stimulators, among other conditions. The conditions we typically treat with deep brain stimulation include movement disorders, such as Parkinson's disease, essential tremor, as well as dystonias. A lot of people ask, what is deep brain stimulation? It's a very simple system. Consider it as a pacemaker for the brain, if you will, where stimulators are placed very specifically into small targets within the brain. There's a small extension set or a wire that connects us into a generator which we place surgically in the chest. Once we implant this, it can be worn for life with only changes in the generator at scheduled times. Everything is hidden well from sight. The incisions, which are very small, heal over and essentially disappear from sight. You'll be the only person that knows you have it. The advantage of it is that it helps to alleviate or sometimes completely abolish a lot of the symptoms that you suffer from. The symptoms that are most responsive to this include motor symptoms such as tremor, rigidity, and the abnormal movements such as dyskinesias and bradykinesias or slow movement. We also find that it's very beneficial for patients that have a lot of motor fluctuation. That is, when they're taking their levodopa, they have pretty good control of their symptoms, though this can wane as the dose wanes and you have to redose yourself. DBS can help to level out some of those fluctuations and alleviate symptoms in that way. Patients that are most responsive to levodopa have very good responses to deep brain stimulation. There are over 100,000 patients within the United States that have been implanted with this system. The complication rate is very low and patient's quality of life is greatly improved by having this. Finally, deep brain stimulation, as of earlier this year in 2016, has been approved for earlier use in Parkinson's disease patients. So while in the past people often looked at it as something that would only be used later in the disease progression of Parkinson's, it can now be used early on, which really benefits patients in their quality of life and recapturing a lot of the control of their bodies. I hope this has been helpful to you and I thank you for watching.